Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. Uh, my name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and I'm here every Tuesday evening to give you a demonstration on, on various different things. Um, but tonight I'm going to be focusing again on royal icing. So I'm going to be using Whipping It Up. I'm going to show you again what it can do. So um, tonight I have got Kelly here on comments. Say hello Kelly. Hello Kelly. <laughs> so Kelly's here. If you do have any questions tonight while we're live then do please get in touch. I'd be more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. So grab yourself a cup of tea and sit back and enjoy the next hour and two. Hour and, I was going to say two hours, but you never know with me. It depends how it goes. Um, we'll see. So the plan of action tonight is we are actually doing a, a, a real cake and we're going to cover it. So I'm going to show you how to cover a cake as well. Um, I'm going to show you how to use, I'm going to make some whipping it up as well. I've got that ready to go. And I'm going to show you also how to pipe some rosebuds and we're going to finish this design um, completely. So we're going to do a, a full cake tonight. Lots of fun. <laughs> So hopefully it should be fine. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. So we're going to be using Whipping It Up, which is the product that's sold here on Sugar and Crumbs. Um, let me take my name down because I think we know who I am now, um, which is um, on Sugar and Crumbs um, with Carol, which has got, um, which is icing sugar, da 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 da, icing sugar with egg white in it. So we're going to be using that tonight to create some royal icing. And I'm going to be using a half a bag. I'm not going to use the whole bag um, and show you how that's made as well. I'm also going to do it with my electric whisk rather than doing it with my big food mixer as well. Um, so hopefully you'll get a better view. Normally you see the top of my food mixer, not actually what's going on in the bowl. So that's what I'm aiming to do tonight. Don't forget to like and share. I can see that coming up there to help to remind me that I need to tell you to do that. Um, and hopefully we'll be in for a very nice evening making a very pretty cake. Now the idea with this cake is that you can use it for lots of different occasions. So I'm trying to make sure that um, it's something that you could use for Valentine's Day so, or you could use it for Mother's Day or just for a very pretty birthday cake anyway. So um, lots of ideas that you, I'm sure, um, you will interpret and be able to do your own thing with and I think you will like it uh, for sure. It's just a really, really pretty cake. Nice and straightforward because um, I'm starting a Royal Icing course on the 3rd of February. Um, which will be online. Lots of you have already signed up already. Um, but if you would like to join me to learn Royal Icing, then you do need to go to my website, not to Sugar and Crumbs. You need to go over to my site, traceyscakes.co.uk, and have a little... Kelly's put the link up. She's bet she's good, isn't she? <laughs> You're hired, Kelly. Uh, the link's there. It's just going up through the comments now. So if you would like to join the Royal Icing course starting on the 3rd of February, um, then we're going to be... Um, we're going to be doing lots and lots of royal icing. I finished one today, but it's so precious, this cake, that I've actually put it out of the way. So I will bring that on, take photos um, another time because I've got wires and everything going this way in order for me to get to it. And it, I'm just uh, paranoid about this cake. It's taken me so long to do it. So I will be showing you uh, what it all looks like. Um, for those of you that are on the royal icing course already, I will take some photos and pop it on the Facebook page and you'll be able to see what's coming. So loads and loads of things coming up. So if you've like the idea of learning royal icing then this is a course for you that's coming up um, you can pay by interest free instalments so if you do want to pay um, over three months or two months just get in touch loads of people are doing it so you don't have to pay it all in one go it's 60 pounds to do the course or you can pay three lots of 20 or two lots of 30 and I'm more than happy to set that up for you do please let me know I'm, I'm more than happy so let's see if we can inspire some of you to join us on the Royal Icing course um, or for those of you that have already joined me on the Royal Icing course, this is another extra for you. So you'll be able to see some more ideas that you can use with Royal Icing because it's a very versatile product. Um, there's lots of different ways you can make it, but we're going to be using Whipping It Up tonight again to show you how to do it. So I am going to show everything in the bowl. You'll be able to see everything tonight and um, we will go and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use salted caramel whipping it up. I've already used half the bag today, so I know there's only half a bag in here. And we're going to be making um, a couple of things, but we are going to be piping roses tonight on a cocktail stick, um, which means that we need whipping it up to be a little bit stiffer than it would be normally when we add in 70 grams of water. So we're actually going to be using a little bit less, and it really is about a teaspoon less um, into the mix for this. So you'll see it develop when I start mixing it and then you'll be able to see exactly what it is that happens. But normally when we make royal icing a different way, when we add something like merry white, um, we normally then 
change the consistencies by adding in more icing sugar with this what we're doing is just pull back a little bit on the water so that you're not then adding in more icing sugar afterwards because it doesn't make any sense because this has already got the egg white in it um so that's what it's there for I think I'd like to do the course, but I'm a complete beginner. Is that okay? It's absolutely fine. Who's that saying that? Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Yes, honestly, Jackie, you're going to be fine. There's loads of people on the course that are beginners. Um, the most crucial thing about the Royal Icing course, um, and I have said this to, on the course material already because it's all pre-recorded with the exception of a couple of lives, um, you will need to follow this course in order, step by step by step, because it starts off really simple and then it ends up at the end amazingly not difficult, I wasn't going to use the word difficult, um, clever is a good word, where you've developed your skills as you've gone through the course. So it's really important that you take your time and slowly work your way through it, um, rather than just opening the course material and going, oh, I like the look of that cake and going for it. You need to take it step by step. So, um, and that's the main message with Royal Icing. Royal Icing is practice, 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 and you'll just love it. It's great. I absolutely love it. Always have done. Um, and you will have great fun doing it i'm standing here with this whipping it up on <laughs> it's become part of the furniture with me now really hasn't it okay so let's get this underway any more questions about royal icing please do let me know i'm more than happy to answer them as we go um and so, don't forget to like and share don't forget to like and share kelly has to remind me to say that i forget every single time so don't forget to like and share thank you kelly right so um let's go around to this camera here so we're going to put the whipping it up into the bowl so this is um, half a bag, so 250 grams of salted caramel or whipping it up. As I say, I've already done a test batch today, so that's why there's only half a bag, because I already know what it's going to do. Well, I hope it's going to do the same, actually. That's what I'm geared up for. And then I've measured out my water, but I am still going to add this quite cautiously. I've got, um, strangely, 67 grams of water, uh, just tap water. So I'm going to put in the majority, but I'm just going to keep back. Yeah, it is half that amount. Have yeah. I done in too much? Oh, yeah, don't say that. Have I, done... <laughs> have I gone wrong already? Yeah. I think I've weighed out too much, oh, haven't God. I? We might have to start again. Don't laugh. Well, if you're going to mess it up, you might as well do it publicly, might we? <laughs> I can't remember what I weighed up now. Now you've questioned me. Because you know, 70 grams is for the 50 grams. It is, you're right. Grams. I think I've weighed up the wrong one. We might have to just start again temporarily. Can we have another bag of whipping it up, yes. please? <laughs> Well, we're keeping it interesting, aren't we? You don't make these kind of mistakes and you won't want to learn royal icing with this woman who gets it all Where wrong. Is it? It's over there somewhere. It's in one of those boxes. Oh, no, it's not. It's down there. It's on that box there. We're going to start again. Which box? This one. It's under there where the um, where the uh, cake painting stuff is. Well, well I'm just being... flavour. So I was being so organised. We're going to do it all again with salted caramel and scales. Yeah, I've got some. Thank you. Kelly's going Drug to scales or? Are those ones, yeah. Right, you can do that over there. All the other scales are fine, yeah. Okay, let's start again. <laughs> I kept us all interested, didn't it? Right, so whipping it up. This time with the right amount of water in it. So the water content, which I was about to do horrendously wrong until Kelly noticed, um, is 70 grams if you use a 500 gram bag. But if you use a smaller bag, it's not. It's half that amount. So it's 35, but it's a little bit less than that as well. So let me just open this bag. Kelly's just doing the water for me. Thank goodness she's here. <laughs> there we go. I would be falling apart even further. Thank you very much. What have you put in there? 35 grams of water. 35 grams of water. We will get it right in a minute. Okay, we need to just get rid of that and swap. Oh, sorry. Thanks. You can just... I'll um, just, I'll just yeah, but I need another bowl. Oh. I haven't got a bowl, Kelly. I've got a bowl. We're just organising another bowl. Are the Royal Icing classes on the same, uh, on specific days? Are they on specific days? So the Royal Icing classes, it's an online course. You will have all the course material and you will be able to do it in your own time. Here we go, it's starting again. Um, so you can do it whenever you like. There is one live lesson on the 3rd of February in the evening at 6.30. And that is going to be um, a live lesson where we go through all the beginner's stuff. So that's going to be a live piping lesson with me. Um, so that we can um, get you underway. That's the point of that lesson is to make sure that you're underway and you know what you're doing. 
like obviously making whipping it up in the wrong capacity <laughs> don't use my recipe right i need the other set of scales where, where have they gone because i need to weigh up the Nowhere. icing sugar right slight technical hitch here see i was very you could have always like, added half to that but we, we were just well, it's like too late because i'd already taken that out you see i would oh i see what you mean yeah i could have done i didn't really think about that it's fine start fresh oh no why don't i do that yeah 100 percent. No. then things won't go wrong okay no okay just use that i don't know what to what did i put in there i don't know just okay start let's again. start again <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's all gone wrong okay let's start again Right, I'm just weighing it up now. Nobody saw that, did they? I'm just going to turn that off and start again. <laughs> okay, half a bag, 250. I'm just weighing this up and then you can have a little look. 250 grams. Come on, Tracy, get a grip. Let's get this done. 250. Nearly there. I was being so organised. I think that's the problem. The minute I start organising myself, it goes wrong. Come on, nearly there. Right, we're there. Okay. Perfect. Right. There we go. Let's start again. So, 250 grams of whipping it up. And then just under 35 grams of water. Do you know, I must have done that this morning then. I don't know what I did this morning, but anyway. So, just under 35 grams of water, because we want this to be a little bit... Um, stiffer than normal so I'm just going to mix this around a little bit with the palette knife just so I don't end up well we were going to add the extra 250 Debbie to the to the other half but then we got in a muddle and oh I just thought no we let's don't know how much water Tracy no added. we're just lost now so we thought we'll just start again we can always deal with the other stuff once the cameras are off and then we can deal with it without being live. So I'm just mixing this in so basically it doesn't fly everywhere when I switch my food mixer on. So I'm doing it with the electric whisk tonight. Actually, I don't need those scales there anymore. Let's move those. So I'm having a moment so far. Nikki says, no worries, Tracy, we haven't got anything to rush out for. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, there's no bake-off or anything else going on. We're not going to go out and have a picnic or anything, are we? Because it's horrible. Right, okay, tiny bit more water just to... There we go. I hope you've weighed that up right, Kelly, because I'm going to blame you then. Oh, <laughs> All right, okay, let's switch on this. Did I plug it in? No, I didn't. Okay, let's plug this in. So Is it warm or cold water that you have? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh Everything's going wild tonight. <laughs> okay, that was already switched on. Never mind, that's fine. Um, warm or cold, just um, tap water's fine. Just ordinary water, no problem. Right, okay. So just regular temperature. Regular temperature water. Right, here we go. So let's switch this on. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. This is probably going to blow up next. Okay, so you can see what's happening. It's quite yellow. It will get... Um, I'm going to turn this down for a second. I need a concert. No, no, no. I'm not going to switch it off. No. Okay, there we go. So you can see what's happening. So the icing's quite yellow to start with. And then we're just going to keep whisking it until it goes white. Okay, just keep going. There we go. So because I've got a little bit less water in here, um, it's going to be a bit thicker. And that's the aim of the game tonight because I want to pipe some roses. So I don't want this to be too thin. So normally you would add 35 grams of water, so we put in a little bit less. And the reason I've done it with the electric mixers tonight is so you can see it better. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so there we go. So we're just going to keep it going just for a little bit longer. We're nearly there. Are we doing royal icing? Are we doing? We are. We're doing royal icing. Okay. Right. 
right, we're nearly there. Okay, let's switch it off. Right, now, if you look at it, if I do that, it's like a bit of a snow scene going on. That's what you want it to be. Now, we're piping roses tonight, so I put in slightly less um water or well, i put in more to start with because i made it all wrong um but it should be 35 grams of water and we put in a little bit less than that so you can see that it's going to hold its shape hopefully we're going to find out very quickly uh, when we add some color and bits and pieces to it so let's move that out of the way right now when you've made royal icing you can't just leave it lying around you have to do something about it because otherwise it sets very very quickly and that includes your equipment so I'm just going to give Kelly my beaters to put in the sink, please. Thank you. I'll just grab that with a pallet knife. Right, okay. So, there we go. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to colour it. We're going to put two colours. So we're going to take a little bit out. Don't need that much, actually. We'll pop that in there. So there's a water in there okay let's have a little look and see what that looks like so we're going to dye this lot pink now we're going to be using uh, color splash that's all fine you can use um, the gels what I have found with the gels that though if you want a really strong colour is sometimes they mess about with the consistency of the royal icing a bit so we might have to add a tiny bit more icing sugar in. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll know by the consistency of it and how it feels. So we're going to make some cerise pink um, rosebuds. So we're going to mix that through to do with it being a bit more pink. So obviously this is a liquid so that we're adding this um, there we go add that in so we can make it a little bit more cerise pink these colors get darker overnight as well so often you find um, when you've mixed a color and then you look in the morning and it's gone a lot lot darker than you originally had it that can happen as well. Actually, it's still not dark enough, so add a bit more. There we go. I'm going to go for it now. We're having very strong pink now. There we go. I'm being cautious, you see. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> there we go. Right. I was very organised today. I had it all set up when I came in, except I weighed the water out wrong. So if anybody's joined me late, we've had a little bit of a, a false start, but we're okay now. It's all underway, so we're happy now. If we wanted a very strong colour, would we add a fraction less water? Um, I personally prefer to make it what I would call the exact recipe and then I would add in a tiny bit more icing sugar even if you have used the entire bag of whipping it up even if it's a tablespoon of another icing sugar I think that would be better you don't like messing about too much with um, some of the colours and say so these are these do mess up a little bit Right, I need to find another container for that royal icing. Is there any smaller bowls over there if I've got them all in use? The problem is I'm teaching royal icing at the moment, so every single bowl is full of icing. Only I'm looking at this. Yeah. Only, can you get me another one of those as well, please? Thank you. Good job Kelly's here. <laughs> can it be little? Um, yeah, how little? Oh yeah, that's fine. Well, just about it'll do okay so that's what we're going to use for our pink color now we're going to put this into um let's see what it feels like let's see how much it's going to hold because what we're going to do is pipe these rosebuds and we need it to hold so just to be sure i've got some more whipping it up here i'm just going to put a tiny bit more in just to counteract that um color splash that's gone in 
so we'll just pop that in just knead that through because when you're piping roses you can't have it um it needs to be a little bit thicker than normal you want it so you can get it through your bag obviously because if you can't get it through the bag then it's painful and you need to be able to get it through your bag <laughs> mum is making you run tonight i am kelly's my runner tonight put a tiny bit more in a little bit more only I say the only reason I'm doing this is to compensate for the gel that I've put in because it's just altered the consistency a little bit. I don't want to dry it out, but I need to be able to pipe structures that are going to be able to hold. So I'll add a bit more. There we go. That's better. So it's much, there you go, it's much stiffer. And when you do that, you can see it really holding the lines, even on the palette knife. That's what I want. I need it to move, but I need it to be able to hold those lines. So that's great. Right, I'm happy with that. Happy, happy, happy days. Now let's get that into a piping bag. So we're going to, um, did we locate any cling film in the end or not? We didn't, did we? Um, let's find find a spatula right I've reappeared for the moment <laughs> just while I sort this bowl out I'm just going to put the whipping it up now if you've made any royal icing um, obviously color up what you're going to use and then the rest of it needs to go in a bowl uh, now I use lasagna dishes I know it's really strange but I've got plastic um, glass bowls with plastic lids and they're brilliant so that's what I use to store my royal icing in so I'm just getting this out of the bowl put that out of the way so that's what I would recommend and you store it at room temperature so you don't need to store it let's put that lid on so don't store it in the fridge or anything like that you need to store it at room temperature so we're going to dye this green in a second which I need a bit more I've decided a little bit more right so we've got one lot of pink and then we're going to have this other lot with green so we've got uh, leaf green what have we got here rainbow dust leaf green that's what we're going to use so I'll just squeeze a bit out onto the palette knife I want it to be fairly dark to go against my cake nice bright green colour now this doesn't need to be as stiff as the pink one now, the pink one needs to be stiff because I've got to put it through a piping bag to pipe roses this one I'm going to be piping leaves but I'm actually okay with this one not being um, as stiff as the other one so that's all right would you recommend glass storage and not plastic storage for royal icing I've always done the same thing, so this is the problem. Um, plastic that's airtight is probably fine, but I've always done exactly the same thing forever. Um, I'll find out. It's got to be airtight. Whatever it is you use, it must be airtight. Um, otherwise, it will just all dry out. There we go. So that's a bright green colour. Right, that was easy. I was happy with that one. Okay, so let's get this into the bags. So, two bags here. So, just going to cut the end off this bag here. And we're going to pop an adapter into the middle there. There we go. And we're going to use, because this is, I'm going to put the green one in here first. Where is it? Oh, it's in my hand. Okay, so we're going to use a leaf nozzle here. It's a PME ST51. It's a nice small leaf nozzle. Put that over the top. And then we're going to screw that on the end, like so. There we go. I noticed that you don't cover the icing. The original raw icing means with no white, you should trust if left uncovered. Is it because it's WIU? 
oh no all royal icing crust if left uncovered all of it you have to cover it um i have covered my icing basically the big bowl that i had has now been put away into my lasagna dish um with the plastic lid um, and all the other royal icing i've made up and colored i'm now putting it into um piping bags so there's nothing left uncovered it's all exactly the same yeah never leave royal icing uncovered because it will just dry not even for a little while we need to cover it that's why i'm getting it into these bags now That's that one. If you have icing left in the bag, will it keep? Keep in the bag for a couple of days, yeah, definitely. So if you've done some piping and then you, you know, go to bed and get up in the morning, want to have another go, absolutely. Yes, of course you can do that. That's absolutely fine. Kelly, can I pass that down to you? Um, yeah, no, definitely. Leave it in the bag. So if you're on my piping course, for example, if you're on Royal Icing um, and you're practicing your lines, which of course you will be, um, <laughs> and you've got some uh, Royal Icing in a bag, um, you can do your lines um, Monday, come back, carry on doing them on Tuesday and just keep going. So um, yeah, absolutely. Leave it in the bag. No problem at all. Where's the best place to buy the nozzles and adapter? Um, I've got them um, from tomorrow and I think Sugar and Crumbs will have them, I would have thought. So I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Right, let's cut the end off this one. And we're going to pop. What time is the Royal Icing Line group tomorrow? The Royal Icing, oh, I'm talking to my Royal Icing students tomorrow at half past eight. And that's after I finish talking, uh, finish teaching. So as long as I finish teaching on time. PM so or AM? No, PM, because I'm not 8 AM and teaching a class beforehand, Kelly. Um, so yeah, I will be talking to the Royal Icing group tomorrow at half past eight. After I finish teaching, um, I'm painting tomorrow night. If anyone wants to paint with me tomorrow night, um, let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm painting this tomorrow night. So if you fancy having a go at cake painting, um, then pop over to the website and join that one tomorrow. It's a fiver and you can paint along with me. So that's tomorrow night. Um, um, do you sell the nozzles or is there a similar one in a big Wilton box of nozzles? The closest, now the, the thing is with Wilton nozzles, Wilton nozzles are built for buttercream. They're not really built for royal icing. They don't come down very thin. Um, so a lot of the Wilton nozzles tend to be for um, buttercream. So like a Wilton 2 and next to a PME 2, there's quite a big difference between them. Uh, this one here that I'm using is, there we go, I'm right-handed. So it's a 58R PME and we're going to do roses with that. So let's get rid of this. Kelly, can you take that please? Yeah. Right, let's have a little clear up before things get out of hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe my roses now and then whilst they're setting, I've done some backup ones anyway because I wasn't sure whether or not they would set in time, um, we were going to cover a cake. So we're going to do that as well. Let's just clear this up so we can see what we're doing. Lovely. Okay, right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up some parchment squares so people are talking a lot about royal icing on the chat at the moment um, on my course I'm showing you how to make royal icing in three different ways one of them is using whipping it up another one is using merry white and the other one is using albumin powder and I'm actually creating a, a grid at the moment to explain how they all work because they all work slightly differently um, and you would just have to find the one that works best for you. But they've all got pros and cons, all three of them. Um, and so I've been investigating that and seeing how I can make that work for you. I'm cutting up all this grease proof. I don't think I need as much as this. I'll get a bit carried away then. Right. I'm just going to turn the heater off because I'm getting hot. Okay. Got very, <laughs> I've got coloured hands to take, courtesy of the edible printer as well. A little row with it earlier today, so I've just noticed I've got green hands. Doesn't matter what happens every time I go near it, I have to have a word with it, don't I, Kelly? 
Mm. I'm in there talking to it. So I'm just going to take this now and I'm just going to cut some little squares. I've got loads of little squares. I won't be needing anything like this. Having said that, as I'm piping royal icing at the moment, I can use these tomorrow. So that's fine. I've just done a bit of prep in advance. So there we go. So they don't have to be that big. One more. Right, we'll keep that pile there. And we need some cocktail sticks for this. Just put my icing out of the way. I'll bring this in for us to be able to don't need the green ice in just yet. I've got my other board here as well. Right, so we're going to store that on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a cocktail stick and I'm going to show you how to pipe a rose on a cocktail stick, a rose bud. Okay, now I'm going to show you on the overhead camera and if that doesn't work, I'm going to show you on the side camera. So we'll see how much you can see on this one first. So with this nozzle, I'm going to have the thicker end facing down. I've got my cocktail stick in my left hand and I'm going to roll it in my fingers towards the end of my hand. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to roll it. So it's a little bit like having a turntable. My hands are covered in royal icing, but never mind. Um, and then my bag is going to sit horizontally um, towards it there. Okay, so I'm going to start squeezing, connect with my cocktail stick, turn my cocktail stick and come down like that. Let's find my camera. Okay, and then I'm going to go over it again. This is where I discover whether or not the consistency is right. And then I'm going to go over it again until I've got a little rosebud like that. Now, if you've got little extra bits on there, you can always just close them up with your fingers. Come on, cooperate. I'm live. There we go. <laughs> and then you're going to take one of the parchment squares and you just push it through like so and lift till you get to the top. And then you pull it off the cocktail stick and put it down to one side. And that's it it's very straightforward so let's have another go so we're going to hold this like this we're going to connect we're going to twist that gives us our center and then we're going to go over the top that way and then we're going to go the other way like that okay take hold of the parchment square pop it down there Okay, lift. <laughs> Everyone's impressed. They're impressed with my rosebuds, are they? And pull it out like that. Okay, again, leave this to dry. Now, if this doesn't work, it means that basically what's happened is your icing is too um, runny. runny. So if you've made up the original whipping it up and you made it with your 70 grams of um, water for you, to your 500 gram pack, it's going to be too runny. So you need to reduce the amount of um, water that's in there. Let's do this again. So what I'll do is I'll show you on this camera and then in a minute I'll switch to the side camera so you can have a look that way as well. So again, twist and then go back and then over again, like so. And then little hole in the middle, like that, and then pull it through like so and you can see when you pulled it through if the consistency is right then you will be able to do these rosebuds really easily and you can churn these out really quickly um, and the joy of it is once you've made them you can store them in a little box somewhere and you can just pull them out and use them as and when you need them so I'll make a few let's see how straightforward they are I take anything between one and two hours to dry hence why I've made a few extras up because I wasn't sure if they would dry in time um, obviously make sure you don't put your hand in them as well uh, where are we so are they impressed with my yeah my rose buds very very do you know I can't even remember who showed me how to do this but it was a very very long time ago and um, I always love making them like this. What Three. number tip are you using again? So 58R, and that's because I'm right-handed, okay? If you're left-handed, you need a 58L. Just bear that in mind. How long do they keep? Um, you can buy little royal icing sort of toppery things um, that keep absolutely months personally i'd probably keep them for about a month 
if you wanted to use them but it's royal icing so you should be able to keep them for a long period of time it should be fine okay someone says i'm so pleased i'm on your course oh good i'm pleased you're on my course too it's going to be great it's going to be a really good course there's so much i promised four lessons well you've ended up with double that near enough because i've i've just kept going i keep finding all these things um that i kept um, wanting to do and then i thought oh they'd like that oh they'd like that and then before i know it i've recorded literally double what i said i was going to record so you've got a seriously full-on course to do so i'll be able to keep you entertained see anyone um, wants anything to do in lockdown this royal icing course uh, that'll take you the rest of the month to do it i think so it doesn't take long to do them generally don't make them any bigger than that and I'll tell you why it's because they get too heavy and then they start falling down the cocktail sticks so this method is good for doing rose buds it's not particularly good for doing roses it's too big um, yeah I've now invented a certificate for them for the royal ices because they all wanted one so there is a certificate I'm actually going to list um, on the Facebook page what you need to do to get the certificate so I'm going to do that tomorrow let you know what you need to do to get your it's a lot of work as well you're not going to do the course over one weekend it's going to take time you're learning a whole new skill and quite a big complicated skill as well but you'll love it okay do a few more of these i'll show you on the other camera as well so you can see a side version of it Yeah, the beginners, I'm busy doing that. I can't use my left hand to type, so what number tip will I use? You can't use your left hand, or you are a left hander. I can't use my left hand to pipe with. Oh, I see. Read that comment again. I can't use my left hand to pipe with, so what you can number tip will I use? Right-handed one, 58 right, 58 R. So if you can't do it with your left hand, you need to do it with your right hand. Um, do you sell the icing bags on your website? I will do from tomorrow, but I've got to get my royal icing people sorted first. So I'm, once I've got my course people sorted, but I'm sure Carol will have some piping bags on her site. Right, there we go. Right, okay, so that's giving you a little bit. Let's do one on the side camera so you can see that. So we're just having um, tomorrow, say my Royal Isis are in tomorrow. Um, let me go onto this camera. So I'm going to just run through equipment with the Royal Icing group tomorrow. So if that's you and you're on my Facebook group for Royal Icing, half past eight tomorrow in the evening, just after I finish teaching a class. It's fine, I'm a few minutes late, forgive me. I've obviously been talking too much. Um, then we're just going to run through the equipment that you'll need to get. So this is the side view of it, okay? So I'm just going to do this so you can have a look on the side. So I'm just twisting that round. Just catch it. And then round that way. And then we'll go that way. And then pop it in the middle. Oh, the first one I do, that's not too bad, but it's, let's try again. Do one more on the side. Always make sure you start with a clean nozzle. This is why I end up in such a state, because I'm continually cleaning my nozzle, you see. That's my excuse anyway. So round we go. Okay. Magic like that looks good, doesn't it? It's really, it's a really lovely thing to do. We'll do a couple more to make sure I've got some, and then we'll move on to covering the cake. And we'll try and let these set. As I say, I've got some backup ones if I need them. 
Royal icing has huge possibilities, but you need a lot of patience as well. <laughs> Lots of patience. There we go. Practice makes perfect with this. And all you need is a cocktail stick. That's not bad, is it? I've got that around the right way, yeah. Last one. So if you've missed it, this is it. Now, what's happening here is my nozzle's starting to get blocked because royal icing does tend to dry out. So I'm just going to remove that because it's... There we go. And we'll just spin it around. And then we're going to go this way. Now, I have already recorded all of um, these techniques or this technique on the Royal Icing course. So you'll have this as a reference. You'll see it pop up. There. OK, right. We've done a few. So I've cut up enough sheets for a million of them. <laughs> but that's all we need for now. Now I'm throwing things around. Okay, right, so we're going to leave those to one side now and we're going to cover our cake. So hopefully they may, they may dry out, we'll see. If not, I've made some backup ones. Normally about, as I say, one to two hours. I don't know as they'll be dry in time, but I've got others anyway that I've made in the same way. So we'll pop those over there. I'm just going to move these cocktail sticks out of the way that are waiting for me to make a mistake with. And we'll bring our cake in. So we're going to ice this cake tonight. The cake that we've got here, let me measure it. It is actually a cake which I've already ganached. Um, it's a five inch cake by four inches in height. So it's got quite a bit of height on the side as well. And I will put the side camera on in a minute so you can have a look at it as I go. Just I've realised I've got the royal icing and the royal icing, the sugar paste in front of it. Um, we're going to cover this cake in pink. I'm just moving this up so you can see. I'll put that there. There we go. So we're going to cover the cake in pink. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. And I've pre-dyed my pink icing already. There we go. So I've got this all ready. So you will be able to buy the royal icing course in a few months' time. Yes, it's £60 though until the 3rd of February and then it goes up to 85 So you can buy it or you can pay on instalments. If you don't want to pay for it in one go, you can pay for it in instalments if you want to get the offer price. Okay, it's in, uh, entirely up to you. I really don't mind. So we're going to, before we get too carried away with this, we are going to paint the ganache cake with some water. So the sugar paste has got something to stick to. Otherwise, I shall forget. So we're going to do that now. So a little bit of water. So this cake I ganached earlier today. I want it to be stable for when I do my covering. So that's why I've done it in advance. It's been in the fridge and it's all set. I know there was somebody who did a demonstration on sugar and crumbs about two weeks ago all about ganache. So if anybody has any questions about ganache, it's probably worth searching sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzle page to see if you can find it and watch it and see what they came up with but this is just white ganache so i'll follow this round so because it's dry we need to make sure we've painted it all otherwise we're going to have uh, it won't stick to anything so it's not like buttercream where it's a bit sticky so when you put your royal icing on it sticks uh, not your royal icing your sugar paste even because we're going to put sugar paste on this cake in a minute. It's not the world's best bit of covering, but it's fine. <laughs> there we go. So we're nearly there. I'll just see where we are. Okay. So I know lots of you are getting very excited about the Royal Icing course and I'm, I'm really hoping, as I say, you'll enjoy all the course material that I'm busy recording. Um, I'm going to be recording to the last possible minute, I think, so um, to make sure you've got absolutely everything that I want you to have in there. So there's going to be a lot of information for you. OK, so we've done that. We'll pop that to one side, move the water out of the way because I will no doubt manage to knock it over right so we're going to knead out the sugar paste that we've got here um it's pale pink we're 
I think it is pale pink. Yes, it's pale pink. Um, we're just going to knead this. My table will shake a little bit. Oh no, I've got it on the other camera at the minute. It should be okay. Uh, how do you put ganache uh, around a cake? How do I put... Well, as I, as I say, go back and have a look at that video um, or that class that was on a few weeks ago. It was a live demo two weeks ago on ganache. And I'm sure on there, there was lots of hints and tips on what to do. So I think probably that's the best way to go back because it is it is a bit of a process. Right, what I was looking for. No, I can't see what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's start rolling this out. So we're going to go round in a circle. Let's go back to the top camera for the moment. So if you want to make sure you get a circle, always call to turn it before you go. Let me just get rid of this wire that's in my phone, that's in the way. Now the top's getting a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to put a little bit of icing sugar on the top. Wow, who mixed that lovely colour today? You did. I did. <laughs> I had Kelly Need in it today, didn't I, Kelly? Do you find the pink board helps a lot more than normal work? Pots? Yes, I do. I am an icing sugar girl, though, so I do find it tricky not using any icing sugar, and I'm sure there are lots of them out there that are going, oh, she's using icing sugar. It's me, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's a very nice board. A very nice. I know lots of you have got them. So I am using a little bit of icing sugar, but I'm not using that much. And that's the idea, isn't it? Is to make sure you don't use too much of it. I will use a little tiny bit though. So even if you don't use um, any, or you're using considerably less. considerably less because I normally use quite a bit. Okay, it's really there. There we go. Right. We're also going to cover the board as well because I can't I can't bear not to. Boards need to be covered, but I will do that separately. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a little bit more under there, just a little bit. Um, I'm going to do the board separately rather than try and do it all in one go. Okay, I think we're there now. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to cover it now. What brand of sugar sugar paste are you using? I'm actually using um, Massachino, which is unusual for me because I normally use Couture. But I'm a bit also one of these people that just kind of grabbed something and went, yep, yeah, that's fine. So I don't mind really, to be honest, what I use. I use anything, anything that's available. And that's what I've got today. So we're just going to smooth this across the top, like so down a little bit so always do the top first to make sure there's no air bubbles in there then you can start working on the sides so we're going to just go down bit by bit so as you work down oh, Mom, the camera angle after. what sorry you, should change the camera angle after. you want me to change the camera angle right yeah. i'm changing the camera angle for kelly i feel like you can see it better okay there we go <laughs> Just for Kelly, we're going to change the camera angle. So we're going to work round the side of the cake and we're just going to very carefully start to lower the sugar paste down the cake. It's a little bit of a taller cake, so I'm just going to let it down. I'm going to have to sit down now. I've gone down to my level now so I can see it. So very slowly go down bit by bit. Don't go straight down to the bottom on one side. Just go down bit by bit. You can 
see it going. Let me stand up and have a look over the top of this. There we go. So, roughly how thick is the sugar paste rolled out? How thick? It's usually millimetres. It's a little bit thicker than it normally is. Um, oh, I don't know. I've, do you know what? I've never really thought about um, how thick it is. I just do it. <laughs> that sounds awful. Um, so it covers your cake nicely. You don't want to see the cake. Two centimetres? Oh, God, Kelly, no. That's way too thick. Millimetres. Did you say it's centimetres? <laughs> no, it's probably about three or three mil, maybe. No, I don't know. Something like that. Let's have a look. Two to three mil, maybe. I've never measured it. That sounds that sounds bizarre, doesn't it? But I've never measured it. People think this is where I'm heavy handed and it always tears. No, look at that. Beautiful. That's what we want. Just do it slowly. Do it nice and slowly. Don't be in a rush. I'm just gonna make sure it's gone right down to the bottom there. And plastic side scraper. This is my little friend. I love the plastic side scraper. Okay, so I'm just going to cut cut the paste away with my plastic side scraper, except I can't quite see what I'm doing, so I'm going the opposite way. And we'll go around that way. So I'm not using a knife on the board, please take note, this is a plastic side scraper. No knives, plastic. Okay, let's take that off. I'm going to move that over there, because we're going to use that for the board in a second. Now, just to make sure this is moving, so I don't want it to stick, and there's a little bit of water in place there. I'm just going to put a little bit of icing sugar down, and then we're going to... Now, I've got some tall smoothers that I like, so I'm going to just hold it like that, and I'm just going to go round the edge of my cake. Go round this way. Let's turn it. So Massachino, which is the brand that I'm using, I mean it, it is, it um, doesn't seem to do the elephant skin. I have to be honest, I picked the most reliable one I could find for the live. <laughs> so I'm just thinking, oh no, I've got to cover a cake live. I need to make sure this works. So I know this is pretty good. So that's why I've gone for it. Okay. So I'll just go around this a little bit more. And then we'll leave it to one side for the moment. going I think. Quite happy with that. Where did you get your smoothers from? I've had these in my cupboard for a very long time. <laughs> I knew someone was going to ask me about this. I've had them forever and this is what I always use. There we go. So when you do a slightly taller cake, your sugar paste is important, what you put over the top, because um, some are better than others. Um, I find the Renshaw one can be a bit tricky to use, um, but the Massa and the Couture are pretty good for this. So just take your time. Let's have a look. What Someone's asked me what make they are. I think they are actually ledg ledgers, is that right? That looks all right to me. We're not going to fuss about it too much. I'm just being fussy now. Right, let's move that out of the way so we don't need that in position at the moment. And we'll have a little clear up so that we can then ice our board. Get rid of that. Clean my board up. A little bit of spray.
Where can you normally get smoothers from? People can't see them on the Sugar and Crumbs website. I would imagine Carol has got them there somewhere. Um, smoothers. I put the word smoother in, see what comes up. There we go. Right, let's do the board next. So we're going to need this again. Yeah, Carol would have to get them in pink, wouldn't she, if she was going to have them. <laughs> right, so I'm going to just take my cake board here. Um, and Have I got the right one? Yes, I have. And I'm just going to put some water on it so that the sugar paste will stick to it. Like so. Just making sure I've got it all, which I have. I'll just pop it over there. And then we're going to roll out again. Okay, into a circle. Stick into the rolling pin a bit, so a little bit of ice and sugar. It's definitely using considerably less icing sugar um, on the pink boards for sure. Hugely less. So let's roll this out. It's nice to have a covered board. It looks more professional if you cover the board. I think it does anyway. So that's what we're going to do. If you get any air bubbles, you can always just pop those with, um, with a scriber. How are we doing for size? Let's have a little look. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Couldn't have done that if I tried. back put that on you do want a, a reasonable level of thickness when you're covering a board because otherwise you can actually see the board you can see all the lines can you use corn flour to roll out icing you can but i don't like corn flour i don't use it um, because somebody told me years ago that if there's any marzipan involved um and at this point i was doing a lot of fruit cakes we are talking about a lot of years ago now um corn flour reacts with um marzipan so i've never never used it but i know there are lots of people that do so i'm going to pick this up and i'm just going to trim this now with my plastic side scraper so i'm just going to go round much easier than a knife much safer it's like a big pie There we go like so so that is that's my board done so i've got a little bit of sugar paste left so again i'm going to put that away so it doesn't get in a mess now we're going to put the cake on top of the board so we're going to do that with a little bit of royal icing so we'll switch back over to this camera again and palette knife have we got any palette knives, Kelly, over there? So I had one in the cupboard. Oh no, I've got one. It's okay. We'll use this one here from the cupboard. That's fine. Right. So we need to put. I've got the this cake here is actually on a board. It's on a little card. So I know that I can just stick this straight down with a bit of icing. We'll pop some of that in the middle. So whipping it up again. Okay, and then I'm going to be super quick, pick that up and put it down. So I'm not going to put loads of finger marks all over it, I'm just going to make sure it's in the middle. Just press it down. There, I'm relatively happy with that, that's all good. So now let's put this onto my turntable so we can whiz it round a little bit although it's got a bit tall actually maybe we won't maybe we'll just keep it keep it at that level so you can see a bit better there we go we're going to the overhead camera now anyway so let's move this back over there we go 
Right, I'm just going to move a few things out of the way so I don't end up getting in a muddle. Kelly, can you take those pins? Put them in the sink. I'll keep that. That's fine. Right, so we're going to do um, some blossoms on the side and we're going to do a heart-shaped design on the top. So we're going to mark the top first. I've got a heart-shaped cutter. Now you don't necessarily need to have a heart-shaped cutter. You can just use a template. It's entirely up to you, but all we're doing is just scoring where the heart is. Um, so it really doesn't matter if you don't have one of these. Just go to the internet, put in heart cutter and, or heart shape and just find one that fits nicely on top of your cake. So I'm going to go for about that. That looks in the middle. And I'm just going to press it down. I'm just going to wiggle it around a little bit just so it marks it. There we go. You can see a mark on there. I'm just going to make sure and reinforce it on that side. So I don't want to cut through it, but I do want to mark it there. So I've got that on top. So that's going to be for my bit on the top. And where's my pattern I made earlier? <laughs> I made it in advance this time so I could remember what to do. So let's put some, uh, while we're, we'll come back to that in a minute, and we'll put the little rosebuds on the side first. So we'll go to the other camera again. Back here again. So what we'll do is we will stick some of the rosebuds down. And um, have we got any other bags anywhere, Kelly? Bags. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll use my little jar of ripening nozzles. We're going to use nozzle number two and we'll get another piping bag. There we go. So we're going to use nozzle two. I'm not going to bother to put an adapter in. I'm just going to cut the end just right down the end there. But Are we on high numbers tonight? Somebody's just made yeah. a comment. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> I was going to wait and tell you afterwards. I didn't <laughs> want to put you under pressure. Put me under pressure, you see. <laughs> Suddenly I realise how many people Angela are watching. Angela is trying to pressure you. <laughs> is she? <laughs> Angela, get back on that exercise bike. <laughs> oh dear. We were talking about poor Angela. She should never have told me that she was on her exercise bike and, um, <laughs> when she was watching one of my lives. Because <laughs> I have to bring it up, you see, every so often. Right, let's put some white icing in here some white whipping it up so there we go let's put this in this bag here how exciting 400 people eh i hope they weren't watching the start where i went wrong i don't mind them watching this bit where it's going well i was going to be so excited to tell you after <laughs> I was, I was memorising the number every time it's gone up. Oh, how lovely. Like, Mum, guess what? Oh, it's so lovely. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Okay. <laughs> Angela goes, I knew you were going to say that. I know. <laughs> you see, I'm always going to mention it now, Angela. Bless you. Angela and her fitness. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at what we did earlier. So I think these are still going to be very soft, but yeah, they are. So these, say so we've only just done these, they're not going to come off the paper. Good job I did some other ones in advance, you see, because I knew this was going to happen. So when you make the rosebuds, you will need to be patient. And you'll, so I'm going to have to lean across the camera here a second. Um, you will need to be patient and allow a good um, one to two hours minimum. Look at all these ones I've made earlier. Look, you see, I have been busy. Um, to get them to set they will set but you need to allow some time so that's why i've done it all in advance so let's put some rosebuds on here so here they are this is what i did earlier here's some i made earlier it's my blue peter moment and they literally just peel off like that they're so simple and then i'm just going to put a little blob of icing and i'm just going to stick some onto my cake so we're going to put them in random places. I know I need eight for the top. So as long as I've got eight, that's fine. Now, because they're they've gone hard, I can press them in. So royal icing is also the concrete of um, the glue, I suppose, of setting things on cake. So when something's really heavy, um, we always use royal icing to stick it down. Um, whereas sugar glue um, would struggle to hold some of this in place. So you would need to use royal icing for this. With these little squares as well, by the way, um, you can always 
Um, keep them and just use them again. You don't need to throw them away. You can just keep them, pop them in a drawer and then make some more rosebuds next time. So just going to hold that in place for a second. Just pop them on tiny biscuits and you've made ice gems. Absolutely, yep. Who said that? You? No. Somebody else. Us. Mandy. That's the sort of thing Kelly would say, definitely. Isn't it, Kelly? It is. We're on the same level. We are, definitely, on that one. Okay. So, we're just going to put some of these randomly. So, hold them in place just for a minute or two. I don't think anything's dropped off yet. Because my sugar paste is soft, so um, that's why I did this live, because I wanted this to make sure this was soft. One, because I needed to indent it at the top with my rose but also it helps to push the roses in if the sugar paste is still soft. But can you still stick roses onto dry fondant? Yes, you can. You just need to hold them a bit longer. So you'd need to just literally hold them a little bit longer. Okay, round we go. Oh, I've got to make sure I leave enough. Right, two, four, six, eight. eight. Yeah, okay, as long as I've got eight left, that's fine. I need those for the top. Otherwise my design's going to go wrong. Okay. I see that one's going to fall off because I didn't hold it. Okay. So, nearly there. You can see the end coming round. So, just hold it in place. So they peel off the sheets really, really easily. So they give you a nice base to be able to work with. Push that in like so. Okay, so those are our rose buds on. We've got those in place. And now we're going to put them onto the top, I think. We'll do that next. And then I know exactly how many I've got left because I might use some more on the bottom half. I haven't got that far yet so I'm just trying to make sure that that doesn't fall over so let's move to the other camera so we're going to set the heart up now while these ones are setting on the side so I don't need to pipe round my heart all I'm going to do is lay this out so I'm going to put one there and somebody's just made a comment about wedding cake Peach rosebuds and lots of trellis work. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love royal icing. Love everything about it. Cake painting and royal icing are my two big things. I bet that looked lovely. Right, let's put another one there. So I'm going to put eight on here. Two, four, six, eight. I might want these to be up a bit higher, but that's okay. We can move that because I'm going to pipe over that in a second. Put that one in there. And another one there. We're going for the rosebuds big time. This is going to be another Bridgerton cake. Yes, this is for Bridgerton, the Rose Garden, we'll call this one. <laughs> well, didn't stop going down in that Rose Garden. Yeah, I don't think we'll discuss that. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, so let's turn that up there. There we go. I'm going to have a Bridgerton collection at this rate. Okay, right, so I'll move that up a bit. I'm getting fussy now. I'm moving things around. I need to stop. Right, okay, so we're going to go with that. There we go. Now, what we're going to do... Oh, yeah, somebody's mentioned it's another Bridgerton cake. That's why. Oh, I see. Now, we're going to go back to this. If you remember this ages ago, that we started with this one here, and we're going to pipe some leaves around our heart, and we're also going to pipe some on the side. So we'll start with the one on the top. So how I normally do this is I normally aim towards... And let's actually check it first before we do that. That would be a good idea. Let's just do a little trial and make sure it's working okay. Yeah, so we'll squeeze and pull away. We're making little leaves. We don't want great big ones. So we just squeeze a bit of icing out and pull it up. So they're not very big. Let me show you what they look like. Okay, 
and we will do that. Instead of sugar paste flowers on my mum's 98th birthday cake this year, I'm going to do all royal icing and maybe some painting. Oh, who said that? Sheila Harvey. Oh, fantastic. Well done, Sheila. I'm looking forward to seeing that then. You see, you shouldn't tell me these things because then I'll want to see it. <laughs> right. Okay, so squeeze and pull up. And same there. So I'm going to go round first, just around the little rosebuds. Then I'm going to go back and fill it in. Squeeze and pull up. So that's the point of the heart there. Another one there. I've got a little trick to brighten this as well, which you'll like. So don't have them all coming round in the same direction. Change the direction of what you're piping, okay? So it's not all, um, it's all going round the same way. Squeeze, pull up. You have such a calm and beautiful way of teaching, so love watching your tutorials as relaxing after a busy day. Thank you. Oh, who said that? Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, you shouldn't have seen the start, though. I was in chaos at the start. <laughs> Oh dear, it all went a bit wrong at the start, but we've recovered beautifully, haven't we, Kel? Yeah. We've managed to... It's all about the recovery. Yeah, it's all about the recovery, everybody. That's what I'm saying, anyway. Okay, so we're going to... going to go that way. So notice I keep changing direction. I probably should put it on the turntable now, shouldn't I? What do I do with that turntable? It'd make my life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? I don't know about winging it. I think I just went She's wrong. Actually today. I think that's <laughs> yeah. where it went wrong. Over planning. You see, I don't normally. I'm not normally this organised. You see, and then it, it just all went a bit wrong because I was too organised. You see. Right, where have we got to? There we go. Ooh. What tip are you using? This is a leaf nozzle. Uh, it's a PME 51. Uh, Wilton do a 352, but that's quite big. There we go. So we're at the bottom of the heart now. And we'll go this way. Oh, glad I, I missed the start. I'm going to have to rewind to see what went wrong. Who said that? <laughs> It did well, honestly, I just had a bit of a moment. I got the wrong mixed, well, I just put too much water in, basically. I was being too organised because I've spent all day piping with royal icing and I set everything up. In fact, I was so chuffed with myself, I'd set everything up, I couldn't believe it. Normally, I'm rushing around at the last minute. No, nope, I set it all up beautifully. Then I went home, had my dinner, came back, and then on the live, I managed to put the wrong amount of water in, so... I stopped you. But Kelly stopped me, and thank goodness she did, and we have recovered since. Tracy, you keep it real and make it achievable, so encouraging, so we all feel like we can have a go. Thanks. Yeah, you can all have a go. Everyone can have a go. Have a go Everyone at anything. Saying they love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Right, okay, so that's that bit, but now here's the magic. In order to brighten this up, silver balls. Who'd believe this, honestly? I did this this afternoon, and even I couldn't believe how much difference this makes. You take a little tiny silver ball, apart from the fact it's now running everywhere, and you pop those in, and it makes so much difference. It's unbelievable. It absolutely lifts it. I think you will agree it's definitely changing it. Put that in there. Another one in there. Okay. Let me lift that up so you can see that a bit better. There we go. So that's what we've done on that so far. Right, now we're going to have a go at the sides. So we've done the top. I can sit back down again. So we're going to have a nice little pattern on the side. So let's move the camera again. There we go. We're going on to this one now, which we'll take it off the turntable because it gets too high. Go. that's better oh no we're too low let's go back a bit there we go right 
So let's do the side. So what we're going to do here to replicate the top, we're going to just pipe some little leaves. Very Barbie. Barbie? Barbie. Who said that? You? Me. It reminds me of Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you wanted to put a little silver ball in there, you could. Maybe on a couple of them. On a couple of them. So squeeze it out. Everyone thinks it's stunning. They like it. Gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, all these compliments. That's good. So we're only going to put the balls on the little ones, are we, Cat? Put think... them on a couple. Don't put them on all yeah, of them. Yeah, I don't think it needs them on all of them. Right, let's get my hand around the right way this time. So let's do that. And there, squeeze. It's a PME. It's 51. 51. And where are we doing with this? Just squeeze and pull out. How long does royal icing last on a cake before going rock hard? Your cake will go off before your royal icing. If you're asking me about covering an entire cake with royal icing, then you need to use, um, you've got to put some glycerin in there. Um, you could put glycerin in royal icing if you cover an entire cake. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Do people do that? Yeah. So yeah they do if they want to cover the entire cake in it if you're only using little bits of it then no you don't need to i've got the silver balls now i was getting carried away yeah. let's put another one in there well we said we weren't going to put them in all didn't we actually we could put them in separate kelly as well yeah, couldn't not? we they might look better actually it looks good no it looks fine. you're happy with it like that my kelly my design person here right okay so squeeze if I'm saying squeeze, stop squeezing, that's because I've been teaching all day. I've been recording myself all day saying these things. Squeeze, stop squeezing. Right. Oh, I've missed that one at the bottom. Hold on, let's do that one. Right, where are we? And that way round. So, because I, I keep twisting it round, I have to keep checking where I am. Is it a flower tip or a leaf tip? It's a leaf tip. Leaf tip. Fifty-one. And here we go. I think we're all quite taken with it, are they? Did we decide to go for a white base, Kelly, or green? I'm looking at you On now. What? The bottom of the Bridgerton special. Oh, I thought we never established. Well, I think white might be better. White would be better. Yeah, I think so too. Um, sorry, because I keep changing direction, I'm losing track of which way round the nozzle's going. Squeeze, stop, pull, that's it. It's all of that I've been talking about all day long. Okay, there we go. A sticker. What we could do is put some white around the bottom and some of the silver balls. What do you think, yeah. Kelly? Depends. You might overball it. Oh, there's no such thing. <laughs> More bling, the better. Right. So we're going to get some. Have we got any white icing left? Actually, I just love the friendship between you and Kelly. It's such a joy to listen to a mum and daughter like the two of you. So special. <laughs> we're actually killing each other off camera. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I'm going to be very honest, I can't do this without Kelly. She knows that, don't you, Cal? Yeah. Because I tell you, I do tell you, she's a very good girl. But obviously we don't wind Charlotte up about it because I've got another daughter, so <laughs> she's probably watching knowing Charlotte. Um, right, let's find another nozzle. So let's go for... Nozzle number two. No, not two, we've done that one. This one, nozzle number 43. 43 is okay, yeah, let's have that one. Let's do 43. Thank you. Just wondering if this is... Yeah, that should be fine. Right, okay, so another bag. <laughs> Everyone's like, Kelly, we can't have too much bling. I know, exactly. That's why we need to put more silver balls on, you see. Right, I might have to wash my hands in a minute because I've got so much green icing on them. I managed to get coated in it, as per usual. Right, let me just wash my hands because it's getting to a point now. Travel 
not to get that board wet. I know, I said to you, don't get that board wet, and I'm now doing it. Right. Tracy would be lost without her silver ball. <laughs> I know they are on. I think they've been on my last three lives, actually, haven't they? I know, but they seem to be coming out in force, don't they? Oh, but they're fun. Yeah, it's lovely to see how Kelly's gotten used to us all. Oh, part of the baby Kelly! Family. Oh, yeah. part of the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never get home now. <laughs> Would be the same Kelly if you went on here now, would it? No, I'm the evening entertainment. You're just like I'm the sidekick. The background. Yeah. I'm the background noise. Is that going to pipe? I'm just going to check. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's do some. <laughs> I was a daddy's girl. Technically, I am a daddy's she girl. She is, I'm going to say. Hold on a minute. She definitely is. Right. So, round the bottom here using 42, we're just going to do some little rosettes. So, we're just going to go round. And then we're going to add our bling. I'm sorry, Kelly, but there has to be some bling here. I've gone the other way again. I'm going to have to take that off. It's backwards for me. What board are you using? <laughs> Let's go the other way. My sorry. What board are you using? Like what size? This. Mm. Uh, five inch cake, eight inch round board. Right, sorry, I've had to just whip that off and go the other way because my I couldn't work out what was wrong. I'm going the round the wrong way. I like to go clockwise. I was going anti clockwise. I couldn't work out what was wrong until I got to the fourth one. Then I realised. Now I'm happy. So just go around in a circle. That's better. Happy days. Well, I hope you're all having a nice evening. This is fresh TV, this, Kelly. I know, right? It's not Netflix, you see. It's also live, which we find out about at the start when you put the wrong amount of water into the whipping it up. <laughs> oh well, we can laugh about it because the cake is going okay. Yay. Whip it up, whip it off. That's it. James it it went wrong. Let it just fine. We've recovered. We've not tried to hide our mistakes. We've we've fully admitted them. So, um, PME 43. PME 43. So, if you could do this cake for Valentine's Day, you could pipe the roses in red. You could change, you could do pastel colour roses. So, you could do rosebuds, you could do lots of different colours pale pink, um, peachy colours, and you could do it for Mother's Day. It's also a really good birthday cake. So, if you wanted to do it for a birthday, it's really adaptable, this one. There's enough space in that heart on the top that you could write a name or you could write happy birthday or you could put happy birthday on the board if you don't like the idea of doing Everyone's it in the heart. watching you piping is really relaxing. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear, bless. And everyone's enjoying it. Good. good time. Are you having a good time? They need to, they'll have to, they haven't got any um, rosebud emojis, have they? I'll have to put some of those up at the end, won't they? Rose. Have you put one up, knowing you? Yeah, you're, I'll put one up. There's you're very quick. Of two. Two roses. Is there a pink one? Oh, it's a red one. How lovely. Okay, so around we go. So just take your time when you're doing your royal icing. There's no race. You don't need to tear through it 100 miles an hour, even though this is live. I'm still taking my time with it because otherwise, you know, we're going to end up with some difficulties. So, you know, let's just get this right. What gel colour did you, what did, what gel did you use to colour your sugar paste with? Just the same as I used to do the, the this one, Colour Splash. Colour Splash, splash Pink. Oh, everyone's sending the I've got flowers roses. coming my way now. <laughs> Should have asked for them. No. Oh. Oh, that's so fun. 
But when we did Halloween, when I was doing a Halloween live, um, they started sending ghost emojis. They were oh, funny. I love that. They were really fun. Why would did I miss that? Uh, it was a Thursday morning, Kelly. I think oh, you were at work. I'm not up at Thursday morning. No, you are up at half eleven. Just. Just, but you are. No, That's why when I, I come on, I think I started a little bit bigger. Okay. I did. Fabulous then. Kate could watch you forever. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm delighted. We've had lots of people watching tonight. That's fun, isn't it? Okay. What a great way to segue into your fifties. Who said that? Me. Oh. Mum's turning 50 <laughs> on the 28th <laughs> of January. Kelly. So make sure to spam her Facebook. I with told you. Lovely happy birthday <laughs> messages. I'm not bringing her again. Birthday next week. Oh, dear. If I made road spuds now, would they be okay until May? Probably a little bit early. I'd, I think I'd hold on. Maybe. Yeah, I think hold on. Do them in mid-March and they'd be all right. Oh, I need to, do you know what? This is my fear of dropping the entire, I did that <laughs> chasing one, one now. <laughs> it's my fear is dropping an entire one of these. And she wouldn't pick it up, she'd make me do it. No, I would pick it up. That's a <laughs> lie, Kelly. Honestly, that is a lie. Look, you see, a little bit People of- People were saying they've made a note of the date. Oh no. It's a big 5 -0. Shh, I'm turning 40. Don't tell anyone. All right, 50. Ah, <laughs> Everyone's like, we will. Nightmare. Honestly, I'm not bringing you again, Kelly. Can you make the camera a bit closer just so we can see the piping pattern on the bottom? I can try. I can pick it up and show you. There we go. Okay. Well, someone else is watching and making roses while you do it. Oh, even better. Fantastic. Fun. First time viewing and really found you so interesting. Lots of tips and one lovely cake. The messages tonight are so lovely. Oh. Oh, someone, a Brenna, brother says that she dropped a whole box of sprinkles and she's been finding them for weeks. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but somebody did it in my class. Uh, oh, God. It, it, when they go, they go big time. And it's like, and it was the hundreds and thousands as well. Oh, no, they went everywhere. Oh. Yeah, when they go, they go. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, you need to be really careful with them. But this bling here picks up the bling up here. So it is a really, really pretty combination, I think. Now, always with my cakes, when I finish them on here, I always put them on... I always put them on the Sugar and Crumbs Cake community page, but I always put them on my Instagram as well. So if anyone wants to follow me on Instagram, um, my Instagram address is Tracy Man Cakes. And also, once I've done this bit of filming, I put it on my YouTube channel as well, so you can always pick it up from there. What's the best way to store the roses once they are dry? In a, well, my favourite method of storage, which is the... Um, Covered cake box. The cake box lids. I love cake box lids. They're great. And they uh, store anything. So I like two cake box lids together. That's what I would do. Right, now we haven't finished this yet. We have to put a ribbon on that board because it's, it's staring at me. So let me find some ribbon, which I've got. Um, What did I do with the glue? I put it... Oh, I know where I put it. I put it down here. Trying to be tidy. At least I thought I'd put it in there. Can you see if it's in there, Kelly? If not, I'll use the other one. I can't see any. Right. I'll use my other glue then. It's disappeared. I'll use this one. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this PVA glue, which I won't get on my pink cake board, don't worry. It's on my finger, it's not going anywhere. So we will put a picture up when we're done so you can see it. So if anybody's struggling to see what I've done. So when I've finished and hold it up at the end, what we, we really, well, we're going to need obviously lots of nice smiley faces, but we want the other one, don't we? Lots of flower emojis. <laughs> now we've discovered those.
감사합니다. 니다. It's well worth putting the ribbon on. Right, don't forget your hearts this way, so your ribbon's got to start at the back because you don't want to be starting your ribbon at the front. And the trouble is you only realise these things when you've done it. I've got glue on my hands. So put that down there. It makes all the difference. Right, where have we got to? It's got caught up in my other one I had earlier. And then when we get round the back here, we can just cut it and join it. Oh, I actually picked some scissors that cut, Kelly, that's unusual. Lots of roses coming through. Am I getting my flowers now? <laughs> my virtual flowers. <laughs> I just need to get this glue off my hands. You're finding out how old everyone is. They're, all, they're all saying how old you are. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, everyone was like 26 years old. Oh gosh, I'm turning 21. Kelly's turning 21. She keeps telling me she's old. I don't know you're not. Right, there we go. Da -da. So that is the cake of the evening. It's our Bridgerton Rose Garden special. Um, there you go. So can you use edible glue to stick ribbon on? Yeah, uh no, not edible glue. You can use print stick. That print stick's the best, but I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it, so I've had to I've had to go from a PVA. Um but I'll pick this cake up in a minute so you can have a look at it. It doesn't look quite as pink as it does where we can see it, but um you stick the ribbon with the icing. I mean you can do, but I think this is um I normally use glue. I've seen you do that a couple of times. Not with icing. icing. No. Right, let's pick this cake up so we can have a little look at it. Okay, so there we go. That's tonight's wow. cake. Wow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kelly's getting carried away now. Where's the heart? There we go. There is the heart there. Really pretty cake, very simple, lovely and easy to do. Um, as you can see, it's just piping on a cocktail stick um, using a leaf nozzle. Nice pale pink cake. Um, and then doing your board as well. So there you go. Have I got in lots of love hearts coming up now? Lots of love hearts. Lots of love Loads for of the people cake. writing little flowers. Our flowers on the emojis and love hearts for the... <laughs> We're going wild tonight, aren't we? There we go. So there we go. Hour and a half to do this cake. Bearing in mind I spent 15 minutes with it all going wrong at the start. So it's not too bad. Um, so lovely little cake. This is actually a real cake. So this will be going off. Actually, this is going to go off to Stoke Mandeville Hospital, I think. Oh, I'm Again. I know. Oh, sorry, not you, Kelly. No. Sorry, NHS. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Kelly. Girl over here is hungry. <laughs> so um, I will be back on Sugar and Crumbs on Thursday at half past 11, where I'm normally doing cake painting. So I will be on then. So if you'd like to join me on Thursday morning at half 11, you're very welcome. Um, can't remember what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'm doing something. Uh, <laughs> if you want to join the Royal Icing course, then do please go to my website, traceyscakes.co.uk, and that starts on the 3rd of February. There are lots and lots of um, payment plans and things if you want to pay that way, or you can sign up. And um, yes, you could do this in buttercream. Not sure whether you'd get the rosettes off you might do off the cocktail stick you could try and see how it goes um but you're very welcome there we go please say <laughs> yeah off to stoke mandeville it's going to stoke mandeville on thursday actually the lady i know the nurse i know who works for the nhs um is in stoke mandeville a and e so that's where it, it goes it heads off in that direction so i'm going to put this down oh look at these flowers coming up kelly come and look at this right kelly's going to come over and say oh, hello she's used to come and have a look at all the emojis she's got a coat on what do you look like hi <laughs> <laughs> look at all the flowers that are coming up on the screen you can see them in a minute there's a load coming up there so this is kelly this is my daughter hi. <laughs> 
She's the one. I have on, a face. <laughs> she's the one on comments for me, aren't you? I am. Bailing me out when I managed to put the wrong amount of water into the whipping it up. But it's all rescued and we're all good. So thank you very much for joining me um, on Sugar and Crumbs today. Half past 11 on Thursday morning. And again on, are you answering questions? Yes. Sorry, she's answering Sorry. questions. Uh, they look. <laughs> look at all those flowers coming up now. Wow. <laughs> Your yes has blocked them. There you go. Sorry. There's even more coming up. It's very lovely. So yeah, half past 11 Thursday or half past uh, six again next Tuesday. Gorgeous. And then we'll be kept warm. <laughs> off you go, honestly. Right. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.